All right, greetings everybody. Uh, we're gonna use this video here to talk about focal length and what focal length does. Um, we've touched on this a little bit uh, today in the depth of field video. You saw that I was changing the zoom setting, so effectively changing the focal length of the lens and we saw what happened there with our depth of field. With wide angle lenses, I always have greater depth of field than telephoto lenses. Um, they also distort things. So anything that's closer to the camera is going to feel bigger than something that's farther away. So when you're looking at the work of Pluton, for instance, he shoots a lot of his portraits with a very wide angle lens. And you're going to see, um, hands that might look really big compared to the person's face. Kind of like what I'm doing right here in this camera. Um, cause the camera on my screen here is a very wide angle lens. And that's why you can see the entire studio back behind me. So focal length, when we're looking at a lens, it's going to be on, it's this ring right here. So this is a 24 to 14 millimeter. So really wide angle lens. Um, one of my Nikon lenses. And so I use this for architectural work or anytime I need to shoot something that's really wide. Um, you can see it's kind of got this bubble element here to it. On the opposite side of that spectrum, lens hood, by the way, lens hood's great for keeping flare and straight, stray light out from your lens. Um, sometimes I shoot with it on. If I'm in the studio, oftentimes I'll take it off just because otherwise it makes the lens seem really big and it's a little intimidating. So, um, this lens here, this is an 80 to 200. 2.8. Uh, it's a constant aperture. That's why it's so big. So the focal length there is, um, on that ring. You can see it. I'm changing it. So there's 135, there's 200 go all the way to the other end. I'm at 80, 105, 135, 200. In this next video that's posted in this ebook, um, he walks through a really good series where he starts, uh, 24 millimeter, 50 millimeter, 100 millimeter, 200 millimeter, 400 millimeter. So he's doubling his focal length with every photo that he's taking. And you can see how the background changes, where things drop off and become out of focus, how much compression, how that background feels closer to the subject. Again, here with his wide angle lens, my studio kind of looks bigger than it really is. It stretches things out in, um, in here. Good little video. He then goes through, shows some images, and he used a flash with all of his photos, which really cleans up the lighting. Really looks nice, the photographs do. And that meant that his aperture then was exactly the same for all of his shots. So his exposure is identical in there. So nothing changes in the photo except for what focal length he's using and how far away he is to his subject. So as the focal length increases, he has to get farther away to keep the framing of the subject the same. So I hope this is a good um, explanation on focal length for you. Remember, focal length is what you're changing when you're zooming your lens. And remember, there's a couple, one other thing I want to add is we have zoom lenses, but then we can also have I'm back just a prime lens and a prime lens is going to be a lens that doesn't zoom. All right. So this right here is a Nikon 50 millimeter 1.4. So no ability to zoom this. This is just my focus ring here and that's it. Okay. And on this lens, and then I can stop it down. So if I'm looking through it, it's going to be wide open. And then when it stops down, that aperture gets smaller. So absolutely no zoom with this. I love shooting with prime lenses. They're my favorite. They're typically smaller. Well, they're out. Yeah. Typically smaller, lighter and sharper than the equivalent zoom lens. Cause this lens has to do more. So it's just bigger and bulkier. And then the prime can be much smaller. 
So I typically will shoot with primes. Um, also then if I wanna change my framing, I actually have to physically move. Whereas with the zoom lens, it's just easy to get lazy and say, yeah, I wanna zoom in a little bit tighter and just, you know, just adjust that. Um, whereas this makes you actually have to be like, now I gotta walk it in, okay? Or pull it back, get the framing you want. All right, I hope this has been helpful. Um, sorry about that brief pause there. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the flip side. Thanks.